You know, I think it's important for all uh, teachers to test their students constantly and in fact as a teacher um, part of my regime was to constantly get feedback from children um, as to how they were doing. So there is an informal testing uh, informal testing is happening in the classroom constantly. I do think it is important to maintain testing at uh, Key Stage 2 before children go into secondary school and I would be in favour of a more formalised testing regime at seven years old because we do need to maintain standards nationally and to get information about what's actually happening to children at various stages in their educational development. No testing is perfect. We have to work very hard to uh, improve testing, uh, uh, testing uh, regimes and uh, if we can do that uh, then the tests are more reliable. And I believe that teaching primary school children it is essential to get information about uh, their uh, progress. Now I know that there's, there's been a lot of complaints from teachers about the fact that there's too much testing. There's always been testing in schools and teachers are saying that there have been many many changes but if you go back to the 1944 Educational Act you can go to the 60s, the Plowden Report, you can look at the 70s, the Warnock Report. There's been huge shifts in educational approach and teaching regimes and, uh, and testing right through from 1944 to now. There's really no difference. Teaching has always been in a process of change and that will continue. I do have sympathy with teachers. Teaching is a tough profession. Uh, it's hard work and um, I have admiration for all of the teachers in schools and what they are doing. Um, having been there myself, I know what it's like. It's, it's a very, very difficult job. It will never be anything but a difficult job because you are dealing with people, you're dealing with uh, trying to um, give children the best chances, you're dealing with, uh, with uh, you know, the process of change in children. So all of those things mean that it's very, very hard, it, it's a very difficult job. I am sympathetic, but we do have to test children, we do need information, and we need information also in Key Stage 3. And that testing regime was stopped by the government, I don't agree with that. I think we need to test children at four points in their educational progress. We need to test them at seven, we need to test them at eleven, we need to test them at, uh, at fourteen, and we need to test them at GCSE level. Providing that information is not used in a negative way against schools, I think it gives us information about how students are progressing. We, we have to have that information, we need it nationally, we don't need it locally in the classroom uh, only, we need it nationally too, to ensure that standards are maintained.